But despite what the CDC says tonight, Placer County leaders are moving forward with an expensive study based on those antibody tests. New tonight, CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Roseville with how the results will guide the county's reopening plans, Anna. Yeah, guys, there's a huge push here to get businesses to open faster. Placer County will spend $250,000 on these antibody tests. Supervisors are telling me it's well worth the money, and they flat out disagree with the CDC. How many people made it through COVID but don't know it yet? Placer County takes action for answers. Their plan to give antibody tests to one or 2,000 people from diverse backgrounds. Do like we do with political polling, establish a statistically significant and valid sample. Supervisors say the information could be used to guide reopening for schools, summer camps, and other phase four items. County doesn't have authority over all of those things, but we certainly can influence them. The CDC put out a strong warning against antibody tests, calling them inaccurate. The agency said they should not be used to influence policy decisions, a recommendation Placer County leaders dismiss. I think we have made so many policy uh, decisions with so little information, um, I, I guess I just disagree with it. Also, UCLA epidemiologist Dr. Jeffrey Klausner calls the CDC advice a gross misinterpretation. He says accuracy boils down to the type of test and manufacturer, and that people can rely on lab-based antibody tests. What the problem is, there's been a massive introduction of rapid tests and um, finger stick tests, and these rapid finger stick tests are much less accurate. Other doctors are warning, regardless of your test results, there's not much known about immunity and if COVID antibodies even provide it. So that got me wondering about Placer County's study. What is it supposed to provide for the people of Placer County? Hopefully that will, number one, help calm some nerves right now. Yeah, and Placer County expects to start blood draw antibody testing in about a week. From there, it would take three more weeks to get results, so they will not be in on time for them, for Placer County to use them in their phase three reopening faster application.